So the reason that you could have the micron level jumping around is if you have a dirty vacuum gauge, which means that maybe you had the vacuum gauge attached to the setup and you broke the vacuum with refrigerant either from the system or from the bottle and that forced oil up into the vacuum gauge sensor. So the vacuum gauge manufacturer will prescribe a method to clean that vacuum gauge sensor. A lot of times it's rubbing alcohol on that sensor, but you really need to make sure to read up on the, the cleaning procedure for that particular vacuum gauge. But that's why I use three valve core removal tools. So in this picture here, you see that you have a third valve core removal tool. Before I break the vacuum with refrigerant from the system, or from a bottle, I close off the valve connecting that vacuum gauge. I rarely have to ever clean that vacuum gauge. It, it really doesn't get dirty with that oil. So anybody that's had that problem happen with, a, with oil getting into that vacuum gauge, you know that it's a, a very frustrating scenario. So I highly recommend that you use a third valve core removal tool in order to valve off your vacuum gauge. Also remember that you want that vacuum gauge as close as possible to that system so that you can measure that system accurately. You also want to make sure that you can do a standing vacuum test, which means you can isolate the vacuum pump and hoses from the vacuum gauge and the system. So that vacuum gauge is going to read that true vacuum inside the system while that vacuum pump is off. 